identify the following image. Okay, so this is an implant based question. We can see in the image implant threads. There is good dense alveolar bone. Okay, they are pointing towards these areas. In the buttress or in the pitch, there is good bone formation. Towards the side, there is some soft tissue. Okay, so all this consolidates to an endosseous implant, meaning it is present in the bone, in the alveolar bone. Now, they are asking us the mechanism through which this has integrated in the options. Fibro integration, osseo integration, osseo fibro integration, and osteo induction. Okay, so let's try to break this word. Fibro meaning fibrous, integration meaning joining. Okay, so the, this doesn't look very well like a fibrous joining because there is all alveolar bone here. So that is not a possible option. Okay, then osseo integration means bone joining okay that could be a possible option we will come back to that again the next one is osseo fibro integration means combination of both but we on only see bone at the implant and the tissue surface this tissue is only bone we cannot see any fibrous tissue over there so the chances of this option are also not right okay then last is osteo induction induction would mean to induce something now here we don't see a mechanism of induction happening. Maybe we don't know if this was a graft particle, it could have an osteoinductive effect, but there is the image doesn't depict that at all. So again, that is not the right option. That leaves us only with osseo integration. Now osseo integration is the phenomenon by which the formation of direct interface between an implant and the bone without intervening soft tissue occurs. Okay, this is a very important phenomenon as far as implantology is concerned given by Brenmark. Professor Brenmark is the forerunner of implants. Osho integrated implant is a type of implant that is an endosteal implant containing pores with in which osteoblast and supporting connective tissue can migrate. So as we can see in the image, the bone has migrated into these interthread distance in the pitch. So all the bone has flown in and the implant has achieved stability because of that. It refers to the bone grown right up to the implant surface without interposed soft tissue layer. This is very important. That is why the other options are not correct. The fibro integration option and the osteofibro integration option are not correct because osteo integration is without soft tissue layer. There is no scar tissue, cartilage or ligament fibers between the bone and the implant surface. This direct contact is verified microscopically. So the answer to this question is osteo integration.